All right, good morning. This is uh, Little Miss Sunshine, and uh, we're going to start another tutorial here. <laughs> we're going to be doing the dome project today. What we're going to do is we're taking this basic dome, we're going to be taking it out of, of its environment here, which is a little boring, and we're going to put up someplace super cool. So here's an example. They've taken the dome, a student took it the dome, and put it in a really cool, um, sunshiny snowy forest and it looks like spring is coming and there's a beautiful butterfly okay that they've placed inside here uh, they've also gotten rid of the bottom of the dome floor and they've cloned some snow and branches and twigs up onto the dome it's a great job on this project here uh, let's see here um, not so great so again it's okay but it's just not very realistic uh, this works. Uh, they did a real nice job of getting the blossoms here and then getting the people inside of the dome. And they're not floating, which is terrific. They're also following the rule of thirds. You have a foreground, a middle ground, and a background. Okay. Uh, here's a fabulous one. Again, maybe they could have moved this over a little bit uh, and followed the rule of thirds. But I really like the, the moss that they put on here. And they have the rock definitely behind the pillars. Okay, so that's great. And then again, it's very realistic looking. Okay, they probably could have dodged and burned the dome top to make it look more realistic. And then again, put more moss up there. Okay, but not bad. Definitely on the right track. Okay, let's get started. So you are going to open up Photoshop. You're going to place this image of the dome that I pushed out in Google Classroom. So file, place. Okay, or you can copy and paste it from Google Classroom, depending on where you have it. So I've placed it. When you do place it, many of you will have to rasterize the layer. So you're going to right click and just rasterize it. That allows you to work with it. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to take the magic wand tool. I'm getting rid of the blue background. Just select and then hit delete. Uh, come in here, get this section, this section, this section. Okay, awesome. Now, when you go to delete this part, because these values are very similar and the magic wand tool, if your tolerance is high, will pick up those pixels. So if your tolerance is at 30, make sure it's about a 10, preferably. Um, oh, you don't want to do that. Okay. You got to go slow, not too fast, and delete everything. Of course, it doesn't always pick up everything. So at this point, go back through with your lasso tool and delete sections that you do not no longer need. Perfect. Okay. All right. We're ready to rock and roll. So I brought in an image of London. That is going to be my background image. So free transform. Oh, nope. Wrong layer. Okay. Edit. Free transform. Again, if you hold down the shift key, your picture will not be out of proportion. Okay, bring down my dome. Also, make sure your dome is large enough because if I cannot see your work, then I don't know what you're doing and it's really hard for me to give you an A or a B. Then I'm going to put the telephone booth inside. So again, using my lasso tool, I'm just going to lasso around this awesome object. Okay, and then cut it out and paste it. All right, so we're golden here. And then free transform it, shrink it. Oh, oh, that didn't work. All right, so I'm going to put the telephone booth right inside here. And I again, I want to make sure it's sitting on the ground. You do not want it floating. Well, we have a major issue, obviously, the this pole. So we got to have the pole in front of our telephone booth. So it again, it starts right about here. I got to get that whole entire pole about up to there. So I'm going to close the eye out and get my lasso tool. And I'm going to start here. And I'm just going to lasso out this entire section. Right, and again, slow and steady wins the race. Just you know, take your time, make sure it looks good. Craftsmanship is critical. All right, and then I'm going to cut it. Oh, you got to make sure you're on the right layer. Cut it, 
and then paste it. Don't worry about the residual that's left, just kind of move it over. Uh, you can clean that up later. So here is my telephone booth. I have to grab my pole and bring it above my telephone booth because obviously it's in front of it now. And then I always just use my arrow keys to place it back where it belongs. And there you go. You will notice you might need to smudge and clean up some edges, but don't worry too much about that right now. Okay, so you have your object inside. Now comes the fun. You get to clean up, you know, clean everything up, clone everything, make it look as if it belongs here. At this point, I am going to trash whatever I don't need. And I'm going to merge all my layers. Uh, a really fun trick when you're cloning projects like this is I'm going to take my lasso tool. I'm going to lasso in this section here because I don't want it to affect my poles or my columns. So grab my cloning tool and I'm going to hold down Alt and I'm just going to start cloning in this water as if it's all the way like splashing up onto this floating dome. Okay. Okay, good job. And then control D. And you're just going to move your way through here. Now, of course, this looks super silly. So grab my lasso tool, come through here because I do not want to have to worry about that part of the dome. And then lasso it down. Okay, grab my clone tool, hold down the alt, take a picture. You get about three clicks, I've noticed. Okay, and you just slowly shading it in, you know, using what you have, imagining what it would look like if it continued. Okay, and for time's sake, I'm going to kind of increase my brush a little here. It is better if you work slower. Okay. All right. Control D. Now, if you can see a line from where you cloned, just grab your smudge tool and kind of smudge it out. Get rid of that. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm using the hand. I'm just going to kind of cruise around. At this point, I'm going to have the water lap up onto the dome base. Okay, so this is the basics of the project. Continue working on it, have fun. Again, the more interesting things you add, the more realistic it looks, uh, the better your grade's going to be, and just you're going to feel a lot, you're going to feel great about your project when you're all completed. So this is the Dome Project. Have a blast. Um, and if you need to use your, oh, one more thing. If you need to use your dodge and burn, right down here, there's a thing called dodge and burn. The dodge and burn allows you to darken up areas of your dome. So let's say I want to make this area lighter. I'll lower my... I'm at 100% exposure, but I could lower it down. I could kind of lighten that up a little bit, which is nice. Okay, let's say maybe I want to make this side a little darker. So I'm going to burn it. Okay. So depending on where your project is, you might, especially like if it's in kind of a gloomy, dark place, you're definitely going to need to burn it a little bit, okay? And then lighten it up, or maybe it's too light. All right, so here you have shadows, midtones, and highlights. So definitely play around with that. That's super fun. It makes it look more realistic. Well, that looks meh, so-so. Okay. All right. Well, have fun. And uh, that is the dome project. Okay.